And Stephen, looking outside today, it's, you know, busy day last yesterday and mm -hmm. this morning looks like could be some rain as well. Yeah, uh, at least I think more so this morning. You know, yesterday we kind of started off quiet. Storms built into the afternoon and the evening and then kind of died back down. This morning, I think today, uh, the morning hours had the better rain chance and then it's lower this afternoon. Of course, yesterday uh, there were some winds with some of those storms. We had, uh, we did have some uh, microbursts with those storms and that's common with summertime thunderstorm activity with all the instability building the atmosphere, but the upper levels are kind of weak. What happens is those storms pop up really fast. They have a tendency to also drop down and die out pretty fast. And when that happens, the wind can kind of burst out of those storms really quickly and produce some wind damage. We did have some of that reported uh, in Broken Air yesterday. Becca, you can see uh, this tree definitely impacted by that. Of course, uh, you know, the th this is also a good, great image from Uliga from Megan. You can see just that uh, rain shaft there. And at times when we had those downbursts, you can actually kind of see it's called a rain foot when you can see the wind kind of uh, really rushing down towards the surface. You don't see that here, but that's kind of how it looked yesterday, right? Especially even here in the Tulsa Metro as we watch those storms moving in. If you were near downtown or just to the west and southwest of downtown, you were kind of looking towards these storms for a while yesterday in the east side of the metro, and then eventually they filled in. Now this morning, uh, some spots have sunshine, some don't. Bartlesville, you've got some sun breaking through the cloud deck. Here's the gathering place, though, looking back to the west towards those showers that are still ongoing this morning. A little bit of a different look. Uh, these were, I mentioned an hour or two, ago these were a little bit noisier they did have some cloud to ground lightning with them that has since mostly diminished but still some light to moderate rains. Manford up to Cleveland, Hominy, Winona, Pawhuska kind of backing its way into Pawnee and Osage County. Once again, areas that uh, really are going to take every single drop that they can get. And that rain extends, light rain extends from about Bristow to Okima, back down to Wetumpka, Dustin, McAllister. And again, that is drifting off to the west. Here's the wide view here. And you can see this is generally west of the Highway 75 corridor. A couple of other cells in southeastern Oklahoma. That'll be the general trend today. Rain chances will be pushing further west. Some slightly drier air is going to work in out of Arkansas and Missouri into eastern Oklahoma. So morning shower activity near and just west of Highway 75. Then this afternoon, pretty much area wide, there's a slight chance for a pop up thunderstorm. It's not going to be the same amount of coverage of storms that we had yesterday. It'll be much more of that isolated kind of hit or miss activity, but we'll, we'll probably still see a couple of those later this afternoon. But more or less after the rainier day that some of us had yesterday, we're going to trend back to what we had a lot of last week, which is just those slight afternoon pop-up thunderstorm chances kind of just during the heating of the day today and tomorrow and Tuesday and we'll kind of repeat the process on that looks like for a while. Highs today uh, we're going to have clouds hanging on for a while with Tulsa to the north and east where there's a little more sunshine highs upper 80s west of Tulsa lower 80s where you're going to have more cloud cover hanging on kind of the same drill in southeastern Oklahoma sunnier spots upper 80s cloudier spots lower 80s again showers to the west will continue to kind of drift to the west then here's that pop-up activity later on this afternoon that'll mostly diminish later on tonight Oklahoma city area for folks going to the softball down there may have some storms to deal with and as we head into Monday once again we're back to it looks like a lot but this is going to be kind of the highly isolated variety of showers and storms in most spots on Monday and temperatures starting to climb again uh, after some of us got that cool down yesterday upper 80s today but pushing 90 on Monday and Tuesday and winds also remaining very light the next few days there won't be a whole lot of cooling breeze overall pretty typical weather for early June as we head into the upcoming work week.